All right, just a quick video to break down the absolute chaos that happened in this two-point attempt. So we have uh, this situation where it's a two-point try. There is six seconds left on the game clock at this point. The Buccaneers are out of timeouts. So, you, you know, 14 seconds left. If you don't get it here, it's not technically over, but it's over. However, you see Brady is still making moves. He's getting someone closer, and then he's also going to point to his helmet, calling an alert, which means that he is changing the play uh, at this point. So typically you have two plays called. If you say alert, that means you go to the next play. There's only two seconds left on the game clock. And it seems like this is, you know, just taking too long to get into their stuff. One small thing I did notice, I'm not sure how much this factored in, but I noticed that the whistle for this play happened with 20 seconds left in the game clock. Typically you get 25 seconds uh, usually. So maybe just a sort of a late whistle to let the, you know, players know that the clock has started is kind of what caused Brady to think he has a bit more time. But that's also totally no excuse because that happens all the time. Like that's something that constantly happens is they don't whistle it right at the 25 second mark so no excuse but maybe perhaps an explanation as to how they screwed this up but then watch what happens one thing I want to talk about is so right here Brady does you see him clap a lot saying okay you gotta you know snap it right now and this is the, the first frame that the clocks hit zero and as we learned from that last play you get one second after the clocks hit zero roughly one second they say a beat which is you know very much you know subjective and for one ref a beat might be half a second for another ref it might be a second and a half so that's kind of you know it's a gray area there the way you avoid it is by not putting yourself in this situation uh, in general they say you typically get about a second if you look one second later they did snap it by you know, I paused it w exactly one second later and it was snapped a little bit before then so I can't you can't tell exactly given where you know the camera angle is they did get it beforehand but again don't put yourself in this situation it's not an excuse it's just like showing how close they were to still getting this off and it's you know who knows if they get the play here now it looks like they blocked it really well and Leonard Fournette would have walked in for a touchdown but again I don't know how much the Green Bay players might have just been playing off because they heard the whistle I'm assuming that it would have been more difficult for Fournette to actually get into the end zone I'm not even sure why they decided to you know do this surprise they didn't just throw the ball but here's where things get I think really fascinating for me what I'm most interested in is going to be this Brady appears to mouth the words why avoid the timeout to somebody in the sidelines now, I'm not sure if that's exactly what uh, happened there you know I am not John boy okay I don't know exact I'm not the best lip reader but it looks like that's what he mouthed and he was certainly telling somebody why you know why didn't we call a timeout or something along those lines so Brady somehow didn't know how many timeouts there were which is the more fascinating situation here Tampa Bay had used even one you know they used their last timeout on this drive itself so you would have thought okay during the situation you know how many timeouts you will you have I'm very confused by it. I don't understand what exactly happened. And from the pre what we got in the press conferences, it looks like we're not going to actually learn too much. So there you go. But yeah, wild scenario, inexcusable error at the biggest of spots for Tampa Bay. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.